This is the third video um, on the range development model. If you have not seen the first two videos, uh, which is on the theory, the first video and the second one is the examples on uh, uh, the range development model. I, I would recommend you first go and watch those first two videos and then come and watch this third video. Uh, otherwise, this may not make that much sense. Uh, also, this video is for those of you who have actually filled out the online range questionnaire and got an output. If you do not have the output, this video won't make any sense because this is about how to read the output. Uh, one other thing I would say is for those of you who do not uh, know what this graphic is, uh, some of you will do a workshop or you have done a workshop that will cover this model in a leadership effectiveness programs. Uh, some of you will not. So if you haven't, just ignore that. Don't worry about it. Uh, and you can also ignore this first column if you haven't done that program or you're not about to. What I'm really going to talk to you about in this uh, video is um, how to read this report, um, how to read these four columns, how to read it in terms of the rows, what the rows stand for, and how to link this um, uh, summary page, which is this page over here, to the following pages which have the more detailed explanations. So. The first thing you'll notice about this page is that there are four columns, uh, the light, the shade, the shadow, and the burn. The light column, these are your strengths. These are your natural strengths. This is what people will remember you for. This is what when people write your autobiography, they'll talk about. Um, so, uh, for example, Steve Jobs will be considered visionary, assertive, you know, um, a, a great salesman. Those are his strengths that people will remember him for. And that is what would come in the light column. These are all strengths, but the brighter they are, uh, the, the more vivid they are, the more dominant strengths they are. So, for example, for me, logical is a very dominant strength. That's what people will remember me for. Uh, lesser dominant strengths are in lighter yellow, so proactive, for example. And occasional strengths are even lighter, for example, uh, trusting, for example. It's a, it's a much lesser uh, brightness over here. So these bright yellow ones are the ones you'll be remembered for. Um, now, any strength can go too far and become a weakness. And that's what we have in the burn column. Again, the darker the color, the more likely it is to be a weakness. So the dark red ones are likely weaknesses, the orange ones are a possible weakness, and the light orange ones are perhaps you know, occasional weaknesses that might happen from time to time. Now, any strength, if you take it too far, can become a weakness. So if you look across the rows now, I, I have a strength over here, according to the report, which is self-assuredness, which means I'm quite comfortable going up to people saying, this is what I'm good at, this is how I can help you, saying, you know, talking about the things that I'm good at uh, without feeling shy or embarrassed. Now, of course, in some situations, that is going to be perceived as arrogance. People are going to think, ah, oh, the guy's boasting, talking about all his strengths, etc., etc. Uh, who does he think he is? <coughs> um, again, similarly, I have a lot of ideas. So a strength is innovation. I'm an innovative thinker. But because I don't persist with some of these ideas too much, I just have the ideas and move on to the next one, I can be unfocused in my approach to uh, certain problems. So the shade column tells me the strengths that I need to develop. Uh, if I develop these strengths in the shade column, these weaknesses are less likely to show up than the ones uh, that are there in the burn column. They're less likely to show up. So for example, um, if I'm a considerate person, you know, I'm adaptable, I try to help people, there's a chance that people can take advantage of me and so I, I become a pushover, right? But if I develop the strength of assertiveness, which is being willing to say no or stand up for you know my rights or my point of view, then what's likely to happen is I'm less likely to be a pushover. So the darker this uh, column is, or the darker the, uh, the cell is in this column, the less likely this is to be red, right? Now, the ones that are in dark gray means I have already developed these strengths. So I don't have any, for example, for myself, but something that would be a dark gray means a, a complementary strength uh, that has been well-developed for me, I've got a lot of occasional strengths. So, uh, for example, uh, considerate, I have slightly developed assertiveness. So sometimes I stand up for myself, but not always. And so sometimes I'm a pushover, but not all the time. If this was a darker gray, for example, if assertiveness was a dark gray, so it was you know, a well-developed strength, then this wouldn't be a dark orange. It would be a very light orange. Occasionally, I'd be a pushover, but not most of the time. So this is what I need to develop. Now, the reason why it's hard for me to develop this, right? And where it's white, it means I haven't developed this at all, um, or, or they've developed it very less. Um, the reason I haven't developed this is because I'm afraid 
I will start displaying these behaviors. The shadow behaviors are those behaviors that I really resist in others. I really resist in myself. I hate being this kind of person. And so in my urge to kind of avoid these kind of behaviors, I sometimes overcompensate and I go into my burn. So for example, when I am being persistent, it feels to me like I'm just doing the same thing again and again. It feels very repetitive, very dull, very boring. And because I hate this so much, I run away from this and I sometimes become unfocused. I move from one thing to another because I hate sticking with something because I feel bored. Similarly over here, uh, I'm good at the big picture. I see the most important things, but sometimes I don't go into the detail. I don't rigorously go step by step because it feels really pedantic, too slow for me. And because I hate this feeling, I go too far and I become vague because I haven't pinned down the stuff that I rigorously need to pin down because it feels pedantic. So let me quickly explain. Uh, and, and so I need to be willing to experience this if I'm to develop these shades. Now, let me quickly explain these uh, line by line. Visionary means I can see what is possible. I have stretched targets, uh, but I can become unrealistic unless I'm grounded and see what's actually possible. But if I become too grounded, then I take conservative targets, right? Big picture, it means I see the most important things, but I pay attention to details if I'm rigorous. Again, if I'm only big picture, I become vague. If I'm only rigorous, I become a bit pedantic because I'm not seeing the big picture. Similarly, certain means uh, I'm certain of my point of view. I can become decisive, um, action-oriented. I know what I'm doing, but I can be close to other points of view. Openness is I listen to other people, but if I listen to too many people, I can become uncertain. Similarly, you know, uh, fun means I can have perspective. I don't overreact. Sincere means... Um, I, you know, when I make a commitment, I, it's important to me, I keep it. Uh, so I need to balance these out. Logical is fairly obvious. Intuitive means to listening to the empathetic side of conversations, people, my own in, emotions. Proactive means I start things, but if I take too much control, then I can become controlling. Accepting means, you know, the things that are out of my control. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, I understand that. But sometimes that can become fatalistic. Self-assured means I'm quite comfortable telling people what I'm good at. Uh, unpretentious means that I don't show off, I don't tell, you know, exaggerate things. Self-sufficient, I do things myself. I'm quite comfortable doing things by myself. But if I do too much by myself, I can become a lone warrior. Uh, Interdependent means I'm comfortable asking for help, but again, too far and I become needy. Considerate means I, I think about what other people need. Assertive means I'm quite comfortable standing up for my own point of view uh, or my own needs. Trusting means I trust, um, I can let go. Alert means I can see what might go wrong in a situation or a relationship. Adventurous means I'm comfortable taking risks. And sensible means you know, I'm comfortable um, thinking through uh, situations before I take the risk. Innovative coming with ideas, persistent, just persisting with them. Now, how do these summaries link to the following pages? Um, well, you'll see there are two lines under clarity, two lines under honesty, two lines under ownership four lines under win-win, two lines under commitment. And so each par <coughs> paragraph links to one line. The two under clarity, two under honesty, two under ownership, four under win-win, two under commitment. So each paragraph um, links to one line and gives you more detail and that'll help you read. So if you first see the summary and if you don't understand the line, you can go into the detail explanation to understand. If you have any more questions about this model and how it applies to you, you know, please feel free to call us up and uh, have a chat with us. We, we always love hearing from you guys. Um, and um, you know, I, I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you and you can use this um, develop your leadership capability because that's why we made it. So uh, have a great day and uh, a great week. Thanks. Bye.